yange mtukuziza ennyumba eno jozimbye okuteeka omwerinya lyange emirembe jonna nama sogange no mtima gwange binaberanga yo obuta obuta yo sangao and if thou wilt walk before me as david thy father walked in integrity of heart and in uprightness to do according to all that I have commanded thee, and will thou and will keep my statutes and my judgments, then I will establish the king, the throne of thy kingdom upon Israel forever, as I promised to David uh, thy father, saying, There shalt not uh, there shall not fail thee a man upon the throne of Israel. Na webo na tambuli danga mama sogange inga dawo dichita o boya tambula anga no mtimo guama zima no bugoro kofu o koko langa biyona bwebiri biyona kula gira era bo no kuwa tanga mateka gange ne misango jange au na nywe zange ntebe eyobwa kabaka bo kuhisraeli mirembe jonna inga bo na subi zadawo dichita o inga njogera anti tewa kube tewa Tewa kubere nga msajja wa kutula kuntebe ya Israeli. Alright, let us read verse 6 and 7. But if ye shall at all turn from following me, ye or your children, and will not keep my commandments and my statutes which I have set before you, but go and serve other gods and worship them, then will I cut off Israel out of the land which I have given them. And this house, which I have hallowed for my name, will I cast out of my sight, and Israel shall be a proverb and a byword among all people. Alright. <laughs> kale ndi malawo israeli munsi jemba wadde ne nyumbe eno gentu kuziza olweri nyali yange ndi jijjawo mu maso gange kale israeli ali balugero na chigambe echo buwemu mu mawanga gonna hmm. may the lord add blessings upon his word may have your seat kama gatom kisa ku chigambo che msobolo kutula just want to greet each and every one of you in the precious name of Jesus. And uh, we want to thank him for yet an opportunity he has given us to be able to gather in his house this evening. I believe that everybody is happy and we are all ready to hear the word. Since we usually have uh, but a short time in the evenings, so I will just go straight to the message. Amen. Amen. This evening, I'm going to share on something very, very important. And uh, Sister Joan, I want to welcome you back. God bless you. I'm happy to see you. Although you disappeared without informing us and the church where you are drawn. But uh, I was informed by your father. So tonight I'm going to share on the in, on integrity of heart. Everybody say it. Integrity of heart. Integrity of a heart. And um, I take that from verses three, four actually. Brother, give me that verse again, First Kings nine three. It says, "And the Lord said unto him." I have heard thy prayer and thy supplication that thou hast made before me. And I have allowed this house which thou hast built to put my name there, there forever. And mine eyes and mine heart shall be there perpetually. Oloksa tuluga ambie. Aumukama na amugama anti mpuri de okusaba kuo. No kwe gairira kuo kuo sabide muma soga ange. Ntukuze ze nyumbe no jonzi ambie. Okute kuo merinyali ange. Amen. Amen. So God, had, um, um, Solomon had built a house for the Lord. 
Suleman and God told him Gamba, I have heard your prayer and I have heard your supplication no uh, that you have made before me and therefore I have allowed this house which thou hast built to put my name there forever and And my eyes and my heart shall be there every day forever and ever you know there is one thing building the Lord a house and another thing the Lord receiving that house which you have built for him there is one thing to do the Lord something and there is another it's another also to do it in his will but he desires for us to serve him in his perfect will his perfect will is always the best but many times people serve God but when it is in his permissive will but the reason is they don't go to the Lord in prayer. They don't seek the face of God or the mind of God about what they want to do for him. So they are heart is not following the leadership of the Lord, but their heart is following their own desires and it has their own objectives and, 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 and things that they have and they want to achieve. Many times we do serve the Lord when our motives and our objectives are not right. And this evening, by the grace of God, I want us to look at something very, very important. It is about our day to day living. It's not something new, but it is very important. And so David had wanted to build a, a house for the Lord. But before he did, he inquired of the Lord to see the mind of God. And the Lord told him, no, David, as much as you are a man after my heart, I do not allow it. You will not build a house for me. Because your hands are full of blood. Your son will do it after you. And so Solomon here has already come and has built a house for the Lord. And then the Lord came down and accepted it. And he said, I've heard even your prayer. And, and, and even I have accepted to come and dwell in this house. And he said, I'll be in this house forever and ever. Amen. And, and, and he says, and if thou, now you Solomon, will walk before me. If you will walk before me as David, your father walked. You remember some um, months, or I think it's still several months ago, I did speak on, uh, you know, the, a relationship, having a relationship with God. What I call a personal God. So that when God comes down, he is able to introduce himself as the God of so and so. Amen. When he came to Isaac, he introduced himself as the God of Abraham. Because God had a relationship with Abraham. And he introduced himself to Isaac. If Isaac would accept also to have a personal relationship with God, then now he would become the God of Isaac. So you would see it goes on and on and on. So if you accept for him to have a relationship with you, 
then he becomes the God of you. So we notice here that God was already God of David. And he had a relationship with David because David walked with God. He walked with God in uprightness. David walked with God in keeping the statutes and the judgments David walked with God in doing the, in the commandments of God. And David walked in the integrity of his heart. And now God has visited now Solomon. And he's telling him, if you, Solomon, will walk with me like your father David walked with me in integrity of heart in uprightness to do according to all that I have commanded you and will keep my statutes and my judgments if you walk with me like this then I will establish your throne Amen of thy kingdom upon Israel forever. As I promised your father David saying, there shall not fail thee a man upon the throne of Israel. Hallelujah. Now let me tell you church, if you can walk with God like David walked with God you are bound to receive the blessings that David received when he walked with God if God favored Solomon because Solomon also walked with God Solomon was a king if you walk with God like Solomon walked with God the Bible said you too will be a king and a priest you too will be a royal priesthood you will not be a commoner anymore and now we see here God has come to Solomon and he has spoken to him the second time like as he did at Gibeon and this time he's telling him he's giving him several ways he can be able to walk with God and one of those ways is to walk with God in integrity of heart and that's what I'm speaking about this evening the integrity of heart Amen. Amen. God honors integrity of heart. He, he, he was ready to bless Solomon beyond measure. Only if he walked in integrity of heart. What is integrity? Integrity is the quality of being honest and fair. Honest and fair. Honest. You cannot be honest when you are a liar. You cannot be honest when you are a thief. You cannot be honest when you are selfish. You cannot be honest when you have lasciviousness. You are going to have honesty when you have truth in your mouth. When you are faithful. When you are morally upright. That is honesty. When you are fair, you cannot be fair when you cheat others. You cannot be fair when you are full of lies and deceit. You are full of bribery and evil mind. So we realize that integrity is the quality of being honest and fair. Integrity is a matter of the heart. 
So integrity is not land somewhere. Integrity is a matter of the heart. So this is something that originates from the from the from the type from the nature of the heart that you have. And many people were born without integrity of heart. All of us are. We are born without integrity of heart. Because we are born with bitterness. We are born with selfishness. We come to the world speaking lies. No matter who was your mother or your father. The Bible says that a man born of a woman comes to the world speaking lies. So we are born with no integrity of heart. We were born in sin and therefore we are born sinners. But when we receive Christ, there is something that he cherishes. There is something he's looking for in each of you. And that is integrity of heart. And by the time of the end of the service, probably the Lord willing, we shall have you know, covered a few things about this. So please listen to me very carefully. So God blessed David's throne. Why? Because David was a man after God's own heart. Notice that heart. It's not even what you do. It is your heart. Didn't the Bible say that God loves a cheerful giver? Bible He did not say that God loves a giver. Many people give, but says God says I don't love them. But He loves the one who is cheerful. Amen. Where is the cheerfulness? Where is the joy coming from? Joy is coming from your heart. Oh, I have the joy in my heart. Oh, Joy in my heart. So God God loves a cheerful giver. So here we also notice that uh, David was a man after God's own heart. Meaning his heart was like the heart of God. And God was like the heart of God. It was a new heart. It was not that old stinking that heart that we all are born with. We all need to receive a new heart. The Bible says in the book of Ezekiel that we, Amen, God will give you what? Fast. The first thing he gives you is a new heart. Then he gives you a new spirit. And then he gives you his spirit. So a new heart is very important. And David was a man of that kind of heart. So his, uh, Solomon his son for him to be blessed he also had to follow God's guidelines and remember what were God's guidelines what were, what was it he gives God's guidelines here uprightness uprightness keeping the statutes and judgments doing God's commandments and then for walking in integrity of heart Many people today in this Laodicean church age in these last days they are not honest. They do not have integrity. You find them packaging a product 
And they said you we have A, B, C, D inside. But it is not all there the way they said it is. So in business, very many people, they, are, they don't have the integrity. In day-to-day -day lives, children are not Having integrity. Parents sometimes they don't have integrity. People around about us, our communities, our societies, no integrity. People do not fear to speak a lie. You as a Christian, someone asks you and you, you are very careless to speak a lie. If you are a liar, you are a bad witness. But if you are a, 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 the speaker of truth, a faithful witness. The Bible says you deliver souls. Because you are a faithful witness. And Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us he is a faithful and true witness. So, which means Jesus had integrity. He was faithful. He could not do anything as long as it was not in the word. He asked the people, Come, come show me what I've done wrong. Who can tell me that I'm a sinner? Who can point at me and say I'm a sinner? Me Meaning, who can tell me that I, I have not faithfully abided with every or oh, moved or oh, been faithful in every word that was written about me. Who can tell me that I have not faithfully abided Jesus did not do anything or say anything as long as it was not written about him. Yes, Talina Chia Yogera at the Chia Kola Chita Mwandi Kiruako. He was having integrity. Yarina Obesimbu. Integrity of David's heart. Psalm 78 verse 70. I'm requesting that we go a little bit faster so that we can be able to cover all these things. We have we have to cover all these things. He chose David also his servant and took him from the sheep folds. From following the ewes, great with young, he brought him to feed Jacob his people. And Israel his inheritance. God took David out of sheep. Amen. Out of those sheep which were feeding their young ones. God took him from there. So that he can feed Jacob his people. So that he can feed Jacob his inheritance. The inheritance of God. So he fed them according to the integrity of of his heart. When God called David. David had something in his possession. Something his brothers never had. Something his family never had. Do you remember when the man of God went to David's Jesus' home? Amen. And the, the, the God had told him that he's a, a man that I've chosen there. He went one by one saying, Is this one? Is this one? Is this one? Is that one? But God told Samuel, none of them, I have chosen me a man. Hallelujah. Amen. But I have chosen me a man who is not among them. But what was God looking for? And it is this man that the others never had. Hallelujah. Amen. He was looking for integrity of heart. David. He was already trained by the sheep. 
Because remember, sheep has a nature. And the, and the nature of the sheep is after the shepherd. And so we notice that uh, David was already a shepherd. A shepherd means uh, the, ones who, the one who feeds the sheep. A shepherd means, listen to me, the one who uh, guides the sheep. And David, Dawoodi, what was he? Yalichi. He was a shepherd. Yali he was a leader. Nga he was a pastor. Nga what, was God, what was God looking for? Chichi yali God was looking for a pastor after his own heart. Yali yali no ngo gugwe. What type of heart? Chif, chi, mutima chikachi. The heart with integrity. O mutima o gulimo with honesty. O Hallelujah. With fairness. O go, o go uh, well, well, people know, even naturally speaking, that leaders must be fair and they must be honest. As a matter of fact, Brother Banam says that if you do not believe in the man of God, no matter how much he tries, he cannot help you. If you do not have confidence in him, he can't help you. He may be a powerful preacher. He may know all the word of God. He may have all the wisdom. But if you do not have confidence in him, he cannot help you. So what does does that do? That, you know, uh, the word of God is a two-edged sword. When it cuts, it cuts both ends. So, some people only direct that to the people. To tell you, yeah, you must believe in your pastor. You must subject yourself to your pastor. You must obey, you must submit everything. But that also comes to this side. Your pastor, he must be honest with you. He must be fair in everything. Actually, in church order, Brother Manam says, what's the pastor? He must be the kind of man that when people, uh, two people have disagreements, that Disagreement, and, uh, and he will bring them together and uh, speak with each of them without taking any side and then end the whole thing by bringing it back into sweetness. What is that? Fairness. David was a man who had those two things. He was having integrity of heart. And so, the Bible tells me here, and Israel, alright, it says, so God brought him to feed them Israel, the people of God, according to the integrity of, 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 of his heart. No wonder the Bible, but actually, Brother Banam is the one who also says that uh, you cannot go higher than your pastor. What does that mean? Also, that many times it is taken one side. It means your pastor is the best, is the most powerful. It is. Is most spiritual. Yes, But rather, if I, if you look at it the other way, the Bible tells us so. David fed them according to the integrity of his heart. Bible yetu kama nti Daudi yabalunda anga oksinzira kubwe simbu bomtima kwe. If this young man here, singo mvubuko no ano, is our pastor. Yemusumba wa fe. The integrity of his heart. Owe simbu bomtima kwe is going to lead to feed us by that. And we who are feeding from his ministry cannot feed more than he provides. 
Do you understand it? We cannot feed more than he provides. So what type of a man was David? David was a man who was close to God. Who could hear the voice of God? Who had a relationship with God? You know, Brother Branham said many times they find people acting like they are pastors. Brother Branham agambo sanga bantu banjinga be isanga basumba babwe. You realize that these days the, the Pentecostals you find the pastors wearing uh, you know shorts in the church. Mubadde mu chimanyi nakuzina abasumba bambale binu mu you, you find them, you know, bobbing off their hair, mm -hmm. the women and the, uh, uh, even the pastors themselves, they kind of do those wildly styles. As if electricity has gone through their hair. And they kind of dress, you know, like in a very funny way. And you find every young man in the church doing the same thing. Why? That church cannot outgrow their pastor. And we find if it's a woman preacher who's you know, doing all the makeups. You know, the whole church, all the women will do the same thing. What does it mean? They cannot go any higher than that. But I want to thank God that at the end time we have the greatest shepherd to our soul. And that is Jesus Christ. And Jesus is the word. Amen. We are feeding on that. We are feeding on that every day. Hallelujah. Amen. Even as much as God sends us men to shepherd us. Brother Banham says they rule over us by two things. Where are my young people? The first thing by the word, the second thing by the spirit of God. Mm. So I am your pastor. Do that, do that, do that, do that, do that. No, they will rule over us by the word of God. Amen. 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 He has no seed to give you of himself. But he's only giving you a seed of his master. So we do not want to get the character and the nature of our leaders. We want to get the character and the nature of the one that sent our leaders to us. So David in many ways is a type of Jesus. So that's why the Bible says that he, amen, he fed the people according to the integrity of his heart. And he guided them by the skillfulness of his hands. Hallelujah. Amen. First Samuel chapter 13 verse 14. Samuel Echoka 13 and 14. But now thy kingdom shall not continue. Na yekati owa kabaka bo tebuja kwe yongera yo. And here the, the Lord was speaking unto Saul. Wano mukame aliya yongera na Saulo. The Lord has sought him a man after his own heart. And the Lord has commanded him to be captain over his people. Because thou hast not kept that which the Lord commanded thee. Hallelujah. Amen. And here was God ushering David into the ministry. And how did he introduce him? Oh, how I love it. When Jesus 
Yes. He's the one who introduces a man into the ministry. I don't believe it is a man who calls another one into the ministry. For the church. For the denomination. For the system. For the Bible colleges. God himself. Introduces a man into the ministry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God. Katonda. Amen. Stood on the pulpit that day. And he said. Amen. Amen. The Lord. Mukama. Has sought him a man after his own heart. As God was speaking through the mouth of the prophet Samuel. He introduced David. As a man. After God is on us. Can God say the same testimony about us? Can God speak the same thing about you? Are you a woman after God is on us? Are you a man after God is on us? What is the nature of your heart? David's integrity of heart was God's testimony. Oh. Oh God, may you give a testimony about me. May he give a testimony about you. Where the devil will give his testimony. Ah, as a matter of fact, the devil Satan. will give his testimony against you. Amen. Mm. But the Lord, the Lord said, give his testimony about Naye. you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love it that my Savior I love it that my savior is my is my also my lawyer. And my lawyer is my judge. So Jesus came down. He died for me. And he saved me from sins. And when I stand before the Lord, then the devil will come and say. He's a sinner. He must go to hell. He's mine. He did this, this, this. But if you repented of all those things and they honor the blood, then you will be in the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. And say, No, your honor. Don't say, Your honor. Say, Your honor. 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 Your I died for him. I paid it all for him. He is according to me. He is according to me. Not guilty. Then the devil will look at the judge and say, Your honor, this is not a true witness. And then now time will come Amen, for the judgment to be passed. And guess what? Who will be the judge? Who will be the judge? Your attorney. The devil will be shocked to see your attorney. Amen on the throne. On the white throne of judgment. And what will he say? According to what I've heard, he is not guilty. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. If your attorney oh, is your judge, that case is already dismissed. Hallelujah. Amen. Some people they say that if your attorney knows the judge, just, just know everything may go well. You just go there and say, you know what? You want to school together. Just uh, do it for my client. But in this case, the attorney is the judge. We stand free and forgiven. Not we shall be forgiven. We are already forgiven. Not that we shall be set free. We are already free. There is no condemnation to them that are in Christ. Them that walk not after the flesh. Them that walk after the spirit. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. David's integrity of a heart was God's testimony. And the lack of integrity in his uh, is in fact actually, I want you to see this. The lack of integrity is is in fact first an issue of the heart. If your heart is not right, you cannot have integrity. If my heart is right, when you call me, if my heart is right, when he calls me, if my heart is right, when he calls me, I'll be somewhere listening for my name. If your heart is not right, when he calls you, nothing will happen. But if your heart is right, when he calls you, you will hear your name. Praise the name of the Lord. Now I want to read... um, Another example here in Genesis 20. And and I will read it out of the amplified version of the Bible. Sometimes it brings out words in a very good way. And so I want you to, 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 the brother, to project that for me in just a moment. Praise the name of the Lord. Okay, we can go. Now, from verse 1, brother, you can just interpret directly. Mm. Now, Abraham journeyed from there toward the, toward the Negev, the south country, yeah, but... and settled between Kadesh and Shu. Then he lived temporarily in Gerar. Yeah, but... It's okay, you can look at it. Yeah, Abraham said again of Sarah his wife she is my sister so Abimelech king of Gerar sent and took Sarah into his harem as as we are following this story Abraham is now in Gerar and Abimelech, the, 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 the king of Gerar, uh, looked at Sarah and loved her. But he did not know that Sarah was the wife of Abraham. Of course, she was the half-sister of Abraham. But she was his wife. And so when um, uh, Gerar, when, Abra, when, when Abraham saw that he, the king loved her, ha, he said, now if I tell him this is my wife, he will kill me, so he will take my wife. Therefore, let me tell, tell, tell him only half truth. She's my sister. Some people, they don't want to lie. But they want to tell half-truth. Your half-truth is a lie. <laughs> if you, you know what you are supposed to say, tell it all. Be honest. And you will find out the reason that, Abra- that Abraham was forgiven by God was because he was a prophet. Did you know there is a certain level of grace that God has given to his servants? Be careful before you say you are telling a white lie like Abraham did. You are not Abraham. Because Abraham said again of Sarah, 
She is my sister. Ibrahim na tena yokera kusala until you muganda wangu. We shall take that up later and get, get, get into it. Obodi ya orumu echo tuli chigenda komo busibabu acho. But God came to Abimelech in a dream during the night. Wabla katunda na jamu chiro tocha Abimelech mchiro and said, "Namgamba, behold, laba, you are a dead man. Ori mo sadja mufu." Because of the woman whom you have taken. Or as your wife. For oh, she is another man's wife. But what I love about this. Is that many times. Because we are God's children. Even if we have done things wrong. God was still fighting for us. That is why he says touch not my anointed one. Do my prophets no harm. Let me tell you. If you are a son or daughter of God. No one dare touch you. Oh what you own. Oh what is yours. Oh because. You are under a covenant with God. If you don't believe it that's up to you. But I'm preaching to you. Because I have the biblical ground. That if you have a covenant with God. He defended you even before you came into the message. He was fighting for you all the way. You may not have seen it. But he has always been close by you. Even in your sin. He was there. How? The Bible says. The Bible says. Amen. Rejoice not against me or my enemy. When I fall, I will rise. When I sit in darkness, in a darkness. In the darkness, the Lord will be a light unto me. If you are a son of God, amen, wherever you are, God is there with you. When you were still in sin, he was with you. And the fact that he was with you, he brought you out. Hallelujah. Amen. You are here as a testament, as a witness that God has always been God was with Abraham. Of course, we know that he goes on to confirm the covenant over and over. You know, God was always with him. Hallelujah. Amen. Our, the weapons of our faith are not carnal. They are spiritual. They bring down strongholds. Watch them. In a dream, the man has taken a man of God's wife. And then God comes down on the showdown. <laughs> Do you know who you are playing with? He's my servant. Take back. Zayo. In fact, the, the first words were amazing. But God came to Abimelech and he told him Abimelech, Abimelech you are a dead man. <laughs> if the devil plays with you, he's dead. Before he is even dead. God said it. But we will find out later that Abimelech did not die. Something saved him. I said something saved him. And wait until you see it. Verse 4. Now, Abimelech had not yet come near her. So he said, Lord, will you kill a people who are righteous? And innocent and blameless regarding Sarah. Erabi Merechina Gamba, O Natomuntu, Atari Komasango, Atari Nansovi, Kunsonga Yasala, Sina Mukwata. I've not done anything. Will you really kill me in vain? Did, did, did Abraham not tell me 
Adam siye yang ambie. Abraham. Abraham siye yang ambie. She told me that he told me that she is my sister. Yang ambie. Boyo manjinase. And she herself said he is my brother. Ateno mchala na kiriza. Uyo mkata wangi. In the integrity of my heart. Mwesi mbuo mutima gwangi. And innocence of my hands. No kubange mikono jange tejiri komu sango. I have done this. Si ingwe nkode dechino. Mwesi mbuo mutima gwangi. No mutaba na musango mikono jange mwe nkode dechino. The Bible did speak about David. Bible yoke na kudawudi. And the Bible said that David had the integrity of his heart. Ate Bible ye gama nti Daudi yali no bwe simbu mutima. And the skillfulness of his hand. No bumanyi rivu bwo mikono je. Are you following me church? The integrity of his heart. Bwe simbu bwo mutima. And the skillfulness of his hand. No bumanyi rivu bwo mikono je. Here we find another man. Wana wali wo mulala gwe tulaba. No doubt they have very many differences between him and David. Awatali kubusa busa bali nenja ukana nyingi nyo wakati wa Daudi. Mr. Gentleman Abimelech. Ono Abimelech yali musajja wa mawanga. But here what does he come with to God? Na yechi charete di Katonda. He tells him. Amgamba. God. Katonda. I have a reason why you should not kill me. Nene songa rwachi tolina kunzita. What I've done is wrong. Chenko ze chicham. But let me present this before you. Na yele kanchiteke masogo. Let me present this before you. Le kanchiteke masogo. Something. Let me present something before you. Le kambeko chenteka masogo. And what did he present? Chichi che yateka yo. Number one. The integrity of my heart. Owe simbu omutima guange. Number two. The innocence of my hand. Owe mikono jango obutaba komo sango. What you do? Chokola. Do you do it out of the integrity of your heart? Oh, chikolera mwe simbu wa mutima go. Do you do it out of the innocence of your hand? Oh, chikola. Kuba emikono jote jiri komesango. Sometimes you find believers. I said believers. Olumo sanga ngamba ba kiriza. Let me do it. Leka leka nangi chikole. Let him feel it. A chuli de. Mm. And is a believer. Ngamokiriza. Where is the integrity in your heart? Owe simbu buli wa mutima go. Where is the innocence of your hand? Eh, hey, obutaba na musango mikono jo buli wa. Tell God it was a mistake. Kadona njamu gamba njamu nyonyola yabadde nsobi. God sees. Atonda alaba. I want you to follow this story. Njagala mugoberero olugero luno. Then God when when he had what the man had to show katonda we yawulira omusajja byamulaze then god said to him in the dream katonda nayo gerana ye muchiroto god speaks through even dream katonda namubirota ayogerera yes we wow god tells abimelech katonda gamba yes. abimelech ye I know you did this in the integrity of your heart. Nchimanyi kino wachikoledde mu bwesimbu bwa mutima gwo. God knows you are. Katonda amanyo mutima gwo. For it was I. This is oh when I when I read this I shouted when I was at home. When na semi kino naleka nyenga ndiye waka. God gave me very many revelations. Katuna napo kubikulwa kunji nyo. I don't know if I'll be able to deliver them here now. But listen. He said it was I who kept you back and spared you from sinning against me katonda nagamba yabatenze e yakuziza obutanyonona therefore no recho i did not give you an opportunity to touch her no recho saku wadde mukisha kumukwatako Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We find many times some women who claim to be believers. They say he raped me. I ba was raped. Bagamba oyo yang yande pinze yakutte. Do not believe it a second. Nze cho sikikiriza ya dakati kitiki. You don't know that you had an integrity in your heart. Katonda bwaba manyo bwesimbu bwo mutima gwo. Can't happen to you. Tichisobola kutoka ko. If God Katunda would keep Abimelech, Bwaba yakuma Abimelech. Abimelech was there. Abimelech yali aho. He was ready. Ngabwetegefu. He was the king. Yali kabaka. Sarah was there. 
Masala aliwali week week as a woman is according to the scripture nda munafu ngomo kazi bwabera okusaka kubyandishwa fight against this guy ndarasobala kulwana sana gwanono she was overcome nda wangu dwa powerless haina manyi and the king kabaka could not even touch her the king kabaka could not even touch ya domoku atakote amkwata so when god came down kareka tonda boyaka wansi the king was saying kabaka ali akamba but i've done nothing na yenza sina chenkoze as if it was his strength jori ntigaba demanyike god said i know katonda gama manyi as a matter of fact i am the one who even kept you away from her inze yakulemeseza no musemberera why rwachi because kubanga god knew the integrity not only of abimelech's heart but also of sara katonda yali amanyo bwesimbo obwo mutima gwa abimelech no gwa sara god katonda was willing to protect Yali mwetege foku kuma not only abimelech sabimelech he was all willing to protect sara wabale yali mwetege foku kuma sara because sara was honestly not willing to sin kubanga ne sara ne sara te yali mwetege fu kono nanga ye yagalide two young sisters mwabawala abato hey man you can be in this situation maybe one time lumu oinzo kwesanga mombere let me give you medicine kan kuwedagala that you can use liyo sobolo kozesa amen amen you may shout and no one may hear oinzo leka nanga teri awulira the only thing you have to do na icho lino kola is a god kama katonda kill this man omusajjo no mutte not spiritual death simu kufa simu kufa ko mubi but let him not be able to touch me na yere kale me kunku atako come and he will realize he has no strength na chitegera ndi talimu ya dotwanyi what's happened to me na gamba chechi tuseko munyongera bikale ndebyo give me some tablets what is happening to me what is happening amen amen at the prayer a sala of a child of god e yomana katonda there is a sister what woman you know you may be know that she's from uh Uh, I think uh, not not Mbarara but she's from uh, Western Uganda anyways. Uh, they, um, Western so Uganda. She was here with us for some time. Yaliko wanonafe. When we were fellowshipping in the house fellow. Na tshaku nganire waka. And uh, she gave me a testimony. Yampo bujulize. Of how she was kidnapped. Engeri je yawambibwa. Taken over there. Ne bamutware yo. By this man who wanted uh, uh, for her people to pay. Abasajja abali bagala abantu be basasule sente. Eh eh so that she can be released. Ah basobola muta. But she said, Nayagamba. She prayed, Yes, sir. Let none of these men touch me. Leka wale me kuba o mu kuba sajja bana nkwata ko. She was there for days I think. Yamala yondo was in nako ziwa. To wali ya denomu ya mkwata ko. Yavayo. Still virtuous. Ga chali mulongo fu. Until today. Okutuka kati. She got married. Ye ba muasiza a wedding. Ba muasiza mbaga. The integrity of your heart. Owe simbu bo mutima go. When you are going there with that kind of heart. Bogenda no mutima ngogo. What did happen? I will just tell the pastor he was actually there. Baka bibe wonze musumba nja nange munnyonyola nti nange bankutte. I'll tell my husband it to be that I was there. Omwami wange nja munnyonyola nti bankutte. God knows you are. Katonda manyo mutima ko. God told this man. Katonda gamo msajjo. I know the innocence of you are. Manyi o mutima ko te gulina musango. And I also know you did this in the in integrity of your heart and i was it was i who kept you back i was i who kept you back era yabadde nze yakuziyiza hallelujah amen come up here brother yango ano bulaza duka stand right here mini now imagine kwa makfana he is here ali wano he wants to touch you ayagala kukwata ko he thought it was he is self restrained yalo was anti yeye wagaliriza but he said God said I'm the one who kept you back. Katonda kama nzenna kuziyiza. Katia kete ngo kuti kwaka. This woman. Kazono. Okay, if I give me water. Kale mope ku mazinyo eko. Kale. Okay. Okay, okay let me try again. Hey. Hey. Hey what? Ah. Okay. 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 Ah. And while he is sleeping, boy, I didn't know you were so. God kept him back. Katonda yamuziiza, and God gave him sleep. 
<laughs> the Bible says Bible God gives his beloved sleep but this time he used the scripture for his beloved on the king of Geral Abimelech to protect the covenant woman from being defiled God will go to any length to protect you and the covenant he has made with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Come on, come Listen. Sir. God Katona. is so mindful about his loved one. I spared you from sinning against me. If God can spare the king a gentle king what about us? What about us is right. I've had testimonies of people, young people who have given me testimony when they were almost about to backslide. But God did something miraculous. And they came out of there. Then they thought it was their strength. Ah. God saw the integrity of your heart. And he protected you from sinning. Against him. Can you imagine? So let me tell you church. We as a people today. I want you to realize. God is able to keep you from sin. Of course, if those things happen in your past, don't let the devil as I'm preaching to you now, don't let the devil bring them back to you. Those things are under the blood. As long well as you confessed it, you are a of it. Don't let the devil bring them back into your memory. Because you are free the moment you came to Christ. Then God said to him, It is I. So now, return the man's wife. <laughs> for he is a prophet. And he will pray for you. And you will live. But if you do not return her to him, you know that you shall die. You and, and all who are yours. All your household. You shall die. If you don't return her. Isn't it quite amazing how God works? Why was this man saved? From sinning. And from, and from death. The integrity of his heart. He did not know. That he was lied to. He did not know and he did not have a wrong intention and wrong motives. His motives and intentions were clear. He was not like some people who claim to be believers. Let me go and sin. Enough is enough. Let me go and sin. I will repent. It was not like God. He did not intend to do it. He found himself in the circumstance. God knows whether what you do is from the integrity of your heart. If you have integrity of heart, God will ensure you do not sin. Yes, you'll be tempted. But God will ensure you do not sin. That is his prerogative. It's not your strength. It is his prerogative. 
His grace will protect you. Even when you set out to do something wrong. His grace will protect you. His anger will be removed from you. And he will abundantly pardon you. I wanted to listen to this quote. If my objective is right to get over there, but then I get up here and here is a big mountain and I say, you know, if I get over that mountain and save all those hundred people, Someday they will have a statue there and they write a big post. Brother Branham, they get missionary. Brother Branham okay. Brother Branham is saying, if he goes out in the field to preach, and many people, hundreds of people get saved, with a motive within him, that I want people to write that big poster. And when I'm gone, Brother Branham, the great missionary. Let me go and preach. Maybe also I'll be remembered. And they will write that thing on me. My motive is not right there. The mountain won't fall. No, sir. But when my motive and objective is right, as I read this quote for you while I was reading it, I stopped and thought for several minutes. It's, oh, that's why I prayed for that and God never did it. Oh, that's why. Maybe my motive wasn't right. But when my motive and objective is right, and God in my heart is leading me, and I can't get over the mountain, and I can't get around the mountain, and I can't go under the mountain, if my motive is right and objective is right, then I would say, mountain, move. When I say that, and no more than I can, uh, no more that, no more than I say it with that kind of a right spirit. Led of the Holy Spirit. In the will of God. There might not be but one little spoonful of that mountain drop down, but it's on the road. Yeah. How many believe it? If your motive is right, in your heart, you say, let me go and bring souls to this to the message. You just go. No gain. But what's your motive? Everybody will see that I'm a great man. Everybody will know that I am a great preacher. But we'll just look at you. Brother, there is a message. There is a prophet. Uh, Revelation. Uh, uh, I'll come back. Again. Brother, Uganda. Pastor, pray for me. I'm preaching, but no one is believing. What is your motive? When you set out to go, what was your objective? Okay, let me go and preach a powerful message so I can get money. Mm, they'll give me money. 
God will never prosper what Katonda you do. What's your objective and motive? Let me do that. Let me do this. Oh, no, I need a car. I need a bicycle. Oh, I even need to marry. Some of your prayers are not answered. Because your objective and motive is wrong. Oh, may the Lord help us. He says the next day there may be a two. He says if your motive is right, and it is the next day there may be a two. And he says if your motive is right, and you pray and he tell that mountain, mountain, no seven no gamba move. Wow. Remember, you have tried to go around it. You can. You can. Over and it, 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 you Let me speak. You have been in a situation for long time. You can't come out of it. You know your motive is right. You know your objectives are right. You know you have that integrity. You know Things don't seem to work. Here is what you should do. Speak. You get up. Mountain, move, and he says nothing may happen that moment. But it's on the road to happen. Something little may drop down. The next day, a quarter of a ton may drop the down. Day, the next month, five tons may drop. May not even see it yet. But she is moving. Oh, is no kuba kwe ton nabira ba na yeruli mukusimbuka. Oh, is no kuba ton nava kula ban chol soso yeruli mukusimbuka. Yeruli mukugua, yeruli mukuvao. Ne ya gambi, inti yeruli mukenda. You may not have started yet to see, but it is on its way going. If, if you are standing right now. Oh, bango imeri deboron. And then he says, I will stay right there. Agamba. And watch the thing be done. Because God said so. And that just settles it. You believe that. You know, and I was just thinking, right now, I've just come to think of it. We are trying to collect money to buy a piece of land so we can fellowship there. It looks impossible. It looks like a big mountain. Amen. But let me tell you what we ought to do. Amen. Mountain move. Rusazi. Wow. Mountain move. Wow. It may not happen in one day. One but let me tell you, church, if our motive is right, and our objective is right, it is bound to happen. And he says, stand there and watch the thing happen. Hallelujah. We are going to be here when it is happening. And we shall all glorify the Lord together. Because we know our motive and objective. We reach out to the lost soul. And to have a place. Where we will fellowship. As the call upon the name of the Lord. Amen. And to bring in souls into the kingdom of God. And to prepare ourselves for the coming of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah, Give me a way. few moments here as I wind up. In Luke 6.45 Luke 6, verse 45 The Bible says a good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh. Luka mkaga na mutana gamba. Omuto omurunji, echirunji, achijamu terekero, edunji, eriomotimagwe. Na omubi, echibi achijamu terekero, ebi, kubanga, kwebi, ebijula mutima, akamwa kibie. Akamwa kibie kogera. The abundance of your heart. Echijula mumotimagwe. You are full. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I did not mean to say that. Mm -hmm. You meant mm -hmm. to say it. The abundance of your heart. He says, a good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. 
But an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh. What do you converse around when you are alone there? What things do you speak? Remember, your mouth speaks only what is in your heart. Sometimes you wonder, you find younger brothers, good brothers. And then when they go out there, imagine finding a person, a good brother like Brother Joel. I'm not saying you do it, brother. Imagine finding a good brother who is even putting on a suit like that. You find them standing on a, on a, a, a girl. You know, actually I love you. My heart. Until like the glory. I tell you. Please. And then he comes to church. My friends. My friends. The Holy Spirit just looks. <laughs> you look at this now. You're wasting your time. Surely. Said, Pastor, I actually did not mean to say those words. The devil tempted me. Where did the devil find you? Out of the abundance of your heart. One young man gave me a testimony that I enjoy today. One, one young man gave me a testimony today that I really enjoyed. I was walking on the road. I'm sorry to say this. I hope you will not be offended. He was, no, the one who told me the testimony, but I'm not mentioning their name anyway. So as he was walking on the road, hey, Brother Joel, I'm sorry to say this. As, as he was walking on the road, no, I'm not saying it is you, but as he was walking on the road, uh, he found this girl who was badly dressed. Everyone was looking at her. Ah, she was walking. Then the brother also looked. Ah. Mm. And he, he, he was pulled. <laughs> and he told me, he said, Sumba, I, I was there. For some time. And as she passed and went, everybody was looking at her. But I was pulled. And I decided to run after her. When I reached where she was, I found myself boldly telling her, my sister, the way you dressed is not right. Please stop it. According to the word of God. And she said, okay, thank you. Thank you. This young man, you can say, maybe he was so strong. No! The treasure of your heart is what you will speak. You cannot speak what is not in you. Okay, let's, let's be a bit fast here now. Uh -huh. Then, Psalms 119 to 10. With my whole heart have I sought thee, O oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here is how David was able to maintain the integrity of his heart. He hid the word of God in his heart. That is overcoming power. Amen. Touch your neighbor. Tell them that's overcoming power. Hide God's word in your heart. You will do the right thing. You will say the right thing. Do you have a desire in your heart for more purity? Right, yes. Clean. Upright. Matthew 15 to 17. Matthew 15, 17 to 19, rather. 
Matayo 15 17 Do not ye understand that whatsoever entereth in at the mouth goeth into the belly and is cast out into the drought but those things which proceed out of the mouth come from the heart and they defile the man Matayo 15 17 Temotegera anti buli ekiyingira mu kama kigenda mu rubuto ne kisulibwa mu kiyigo na ye ebifuruma mu kamwa biva mu mutima nebyo obye byonono omuntu Have you heard my brethren that which comes out from the mouth really comes out from the heart ebye biva mu kamwa bifuruma mu mutima let the words of my mouth leke bigambo bya kamwa kange let the meditations of my heart okufumitiriza ku mutima gwange let it be acceptable to bikirizibwe mu masogo have a quote from the theatrian church age here quickly i want to give a warning right here it says concerning the last days because of abounding iniquity the love of many will wax cold in the Laodicean or last age self love and love for material things will take the place of the true love of God. We need to guard against the power of sin in the last day. We need to guard against the power of sin in this last day. So many are getting so hard because they haven't realized the effect of this last day. It is time to draw near to God and let him fill our lives with his love. Or we will feel the coldness of the last day church. And reject the truth of God, which alone is able to help. Us. I'll give you the last quote here. Where is our churches? Our ministers. Where are they that will take the people in just Uh, on probation or come in join the church and do this or, or have a little sensation or something where is those men of god those prophets that stand out and dare to defy to defy all the things of the world the bible says in revelation 10:8-11 thou must prophesy again so are we prophets amen amen where are those prophets that will dare to defy and defy all the things of the world where are they here do we have them in this church are you here will you defy the things of the world will you defy them let me tell you the devil brings you with temptation tell him devil I defy you the name of Jesus I will not bend I will not bow because of the integrity of my heart I know what I stand for where is those men of integrity where are they at they are so soft and three intellectual conceptions and things till they are not here no more oh god have mercy upon us let us oh my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight oh
passado na fé. Te merece porque ele é fé. Friends, if there is somebody that would like to come before the Lord in prayer and maybe to say, Lord, help me and give me that integrity. Help me that I will be close to you. You can just raise up your hand as we pray together. Lord, I'm raising my hand too. And pray that you will help me, O God. Like David had the integrity of the heart. Sarah had it. Sarah Yabulina. Abimelech had it. Abimeleki Yabulina. Solomon had it. Suleiman Yabulina. You had it. I want to have it. I want my brothers and sisters here to have it. How shall we get it? By hiding the word of truth in our hearts. Because integrity is a thing of the heart. Help us, Lord. Wherever we have strayed, Lord, may you bring us back in your way. As we see, we are living in a difficult generation. Where honest is a thing of the past. Fairness is a thing of the past. Where the lives of many are dwindling down and down and down and laying down the bands. Where the lives of many are dwindling down and down and down and laying down the bands. 
help us to hold the banner high. Help us to stick with your word. Even as you helped Sister Sarah, and you suffered hard not to sin. You can help us. Even as you were there with Abimelech. Being an unbeliever. But yet you suffered him not to sin. Because of the integrity of his heart. Lord, we see that even Abraham had judged him wrongly. Many times, Lord, we may judge others wrong. Because of maybe where they are. Or the things we've heard about them. But help us, Lord. That we shall not sin against you. That we shall stick with your word. For your word tells us to love everyone. And to give them the love of Jesus. To tell them about what you have done in this generation. Help us to raise the banner high. Father, as we want to go out of this service, we don't want just just go the way we came in. Lord. Bless every brother and every sister. Bless the Lord. Help them to stick with you and your wife. Then you will be able to bless them, Lord. Father, we also ask that you will bless those who are going to give in the offering. Bless their business. May you increase their territories. So that they will be able to serve you with their substance. Father, we just give ourselves to you tonight. Even as we go, may the Holy Spirit go with us. Be with us in our homes. And help us to have the integrity of the heart. In Jesus' mighty name. Everybody say. Amen. Bless you. Thank you for your patience. Sister Stella. Oh, yeah. Sister Sarah and I'm happy to see you. You've been a long time. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. As you give, you are free to go. You are dismissed. And, uh, do not forget uh, the Friday Bible study. Bible study. You're all welcome to stream it. And then we shall be with my, the young people at my home. With me. Bye bye. So, everybody's welcome to stream that service. You will learn a lot. And then, for the young people, please, you are. Welcome to come here for prayers. Friday, good morning. I think it's been the young men only for now. Uh, but I think we shall try to see how we can be able to, you know, to make it inclusive. Later, what's Brother told me he was not able to come. He had a site he was working at. And so, remember him in prayer. Uh, I'm happy to see you, Sister Martin. God bless you. I, I did not know that he was able to make it. Amen. Each of you, God bless you. Thank you for coming. We shall meet on Sunday. Amen. 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 Let our words, oh my mouth, and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, oh Lord. And may 
be just to remind you before you go abali ya kubajukizamu konga temana genda because i know that some people could have already forgotten anga manyi waizuba abantu ngaba bila bidida uh our visitors from from canada abagenyi bakuva mu canada will actually be arriving this month bagenda kutukawo mu mwezi guno on that on 29 ngenna kuzo mwezi abili mu mwenda and uh, on 30th ngenna kuzo mwezi asatu uh, they have requested me to pick them bansabye ngende mbachimeko but they will be ministering for uh in jinja for pastor ivan wabula bajja kuba baweleze jinja ewo msumba ibale so i'll be picking them this this saturday katukulom kaga lunongenda banona and i'll take them to pastor ibale in jinja batwale ewo msumba ibale jinja so like i told you ngabwe nabagambye we shall have them actually uh, we shall have them in the course of the week tujja kuba nabo of the week of the first week of november mu week so kama mwezo gwe 10 no gum the first week or the second because uh, uh, brother michael Ray will be preaching for us on 4th on 4th of, of of next tomorrow is Thursday so the other Thursday now kati enchalwa kuna kati oloku na lwa week eja tujja kusaba lwa kusatu tujja kusaba mu lwa kuna so next week we shall not have this service on Wednesday oloku week eja tujja kubana service ya lwa kusatu eno we shall have it on Thursday tujja kubana yo ku lwa kuna with that brother Michael Ray Nemuganda for your mic ring abulira so you are welcome to come in time tukwaniriza mukereko and uh, we shall also come with your friends brothers bila ko mkwano go muganda ogoja na yeye kuva makanisa malala oboya ka dubai ta i will invite them myself on the ministers for you neitira ko if you have any friend you want to invite feel free to do that nebo ina mkwano go yakalo kwaniza muiri and we shall get other chairs and put them outside tujja funa ku tebo bulala tuteke bweru we have to discuss with the brothers whether or not we shall need a small tent nya ku chogera kuna bulugando batu yetaga yo tent ya katini so that's thursday kati chicharwa kuna then uh, on november 10 um no gwe 10 no gumunga na kusoma mwezi 10 ha ngeje chogede cha wala nyo Okay. Kati, then the, after that then the following week on Wednesday. Oluva nyima lolo kuna olwo kusatulwa week edako. That's when we shall have by the team dot. Awo oluganda team dot lwa jokuba na fe. Ah uh, he will be preaching for us. Ajakuba abulira. Um he's an elder in the message. Mukadde mububaka is been working with us in Ethiopia since we started. Abadde akolagana na fe mu Ethiopia bicha tandika. So we have a long time connection with Kati him. So uh, I'm sure he will be glad to come and visit with us here. Yeah, so the rest of the programs are not church programs, but on the 11th then I will he and I will be meeting the translators the brethren who translate Ateso will come from Soroti. We have about six of those and then those are also here. They are about five so we shall be having a, a, a translators meeting nga 10 na rumu abavunulo limi oluteso abavajja vesoloti bajje na abavunulo luganda tubenene oluchiko lwa abavunuze so those brothers are going to be in many places abo luganda abano bagenda kena mu bifo binji they are going to be hosted by many people bagenda kuchazwa abantu banji i think like i said on sunday in kampala they are only visited this church na yenga bwe nabagambi mu kampala wano kawe bagendo chala so if you want someone to not miss their ministry invite kati bo bato yagala muntu asubwe kuchala kwa bubweleza bwawe mwaniriza je so that uh, they can be a blessing basobolo kubena mukisaje bali god bless you kama ba mukisa see you on sunday you are this ola bagane ku sunday musibutwa eta watch oh my mouth and the meditate